In this video, I'll cover five ways to help you read the room during your DJ set. Find out what those are coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So the first tip to help you read the room actually starts before your set. I would suggest getting to the venue maybe an hour early and get a vibe of the room, get a feel for the room, get a feel for what kind of music's being played, and take a look at the reaction from the crowd and what the DJ's playing to help guide you and see what kind of music they're feeling, maybe some genres they like more than others, maybe some genres don't go well at all and you know to just cut that completely out of your set. Getting there at least half an hour to an hour early can really help you set up to read the room for the rest of your set. My second tip would be to stay aware of what time of night it is, meaning if you're an opening DJ, be sure to just play you know, an opening DJ set, meaning you don't wanna play the latest bangers and like the latest hits. You wanna kinda pull back, play the hits from a couple years ago and leave the headliner room to get into those songs that you know the crowd wants to hear later on in the night. Also, if you're a headliner, make sure that you know, you're not playing a lot of old school stuff unless the night calls for it and you know, focus more on the current hits and the stuff that people want to hear at peak time. And also, just be aware of like, you know, there it should be peaks and valleys during your DJ set. So if you have the energy up here for a while, you might want to pull back and bring the crowd down a little bit just so you can send them back up energy wise again. This can help, you know, prolong the night and keep people dancing because if you have them at 10 the whole night, they're gonna get tired, they're gonna get worn out, not just physically, but their ears and everything. So you wanna make sure that you're aware of like where you're spending the amount of time. If you're in a high energy section of your set for half an hour, you might wanna, you know, dip down into some lower groovier stuff for at 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and come back up to, you know, higher energy stuff. So keeping aware of the timing of the night and how long you've been in certain sections of your set can really help you read the room and have a better set. My third suggestion would be to take a look at the age of the crowd that you're playing for. Are they a younger crowd? Are they an older crowd? Take a guess at like what age group they might be, play some stuff from that era and see if it sticks. So if you're playing for an older crowd, you might not want to play all the newest hits right now. You might want to go a little bit deeper and play some older stuff to get a better reaction out of them. And at the same time, if you're playing for a really younger crowd, you don't want to hit them with really old throwbacks and songs that might not even have been out when they were born. So just take a look at the age demographic of the crowd. If it's a mixed crowd, you might want to, you know, pull at different age groups and just try to throw in different things for different parts of the crowd just to keep everybody engaged. My fourth tip would be, as the night progresses, be sure to take riskier and riskier risks. Now what I mean by this is take calculated risks. So, you know, you might want to throw in a song that the crowd doesn't know or something that, you know, isn't that popular at the time and throw it out there if you think it fits in the kind of vibe that you're setting and see what the crowd reaction is and if they grab onto it throw another one at them in a little bit and just throw stuff like that into popular songs that they might know and every once in a while just throw like a left turn and hit them with something that might take them by surprise and if they feed off of that and they like where you're going you know maybe go in that direction a little bit more than come back to the popular stuff this way you become a more memorable DJ if they're into it and if you read the crowd correctly a crowd will remember a DJ DJ that plays music that they don't hear everywhere else but you have to be careful to make sure it's calculated and if you're going way too far left and nobody's feeling it that's another way to become a memorable DJ but in the wrong way and my last tip for reading the crowd is to make yourself a safe go-to or party savers playlist that's full of songs that you know that if you go too far left you can just drop this song and it'll get everybody back on track you know party classics like Montel Jordan this is how we do it Usher yeah stuff like that really easy stuff that everybody knows that everybody's gonna have a positive reaction to you want to have those saved in a playlist just in case you go too far left you can just bring them right back and reel them back in think of it like hedging your bets and just having a safety net for your set so I recommend at least having 20 to 50 songs from different genres and different BPMs that can get you out of jam really quickly to help save you if you veer too far left and keep the party going so those are five tips to help you read the crowd during your DJ set. So question of the day, what tips do you have to read the crowd? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.